Have you heard of the Americans? They're a Los Angeles-based band who recently unveiled their latest video. So here to talk about the meaning behind the song is frontman Patrick Ferris. Welcome to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So take us back. Take us back to the beginning of when you picked up a guitar. Uh, well, my dad played guitar, and uh, my dad was a singer in the... Uh, like folk scene in the 70s mm -hmm. and uh, so when I was a kid I would always hear him playing guitar around the house and uh, one day I just asked him to teach me show me a couple chords and uh -huh. I was probably like 15 years old all right and you said the neighborhood friends were forming a band well some kids I grew up with who lived in LA uh -huh. uh, I was up in San Francisco and I always wanted to play in a band with them so once I finished school I moved down and uh, started playing with them and I've heard you I've I've heard you sing and play and you just have that natural born talent right oh thanks so other people obviously picked that up and you, you got a representation yeah and then what uh, well, for a while we were just doing other people's songs because we, we had this really deep shared interest in what they call pre-war music, 20s and 30s blues and string band music and some early rock and roll. And that was kind of all we were interested in for a while. And I was writing songs in the background, but we weren't really performing them. And then there was this big switch where we started doing our own songs and started being more of like a you know contemporary band, like a folk rock band. So talk to us. We know you are... Uh writing songs that you hope have impact and meaning. Explain what they're about and why. Well, I, I don't, I, for me anyway, I don't really set out to write a song about anything. You just kind of poke around and f you know feel things out. And when you write something that, that you feel like it works, then you find out what it's about. Um, so this, this latest song just happened to be about uh, homelessness. And where I grew up in San Francisco, there were a lot of um, uh, homeless street musicians, and I used to play with them. And I think that's where I first got interested oh, wow. in the topic. Yeah. All right. And as we know, homelessness is increasingly growing and is a huge problem in not only San Francisco, L.A. as well. Yeah. So w you wrote a song to bring awareness? Well, the song was really just uh, almost sort of in honor of those people I knew up in San Francisco who, you know, none of them are around anymore, and I got to know pretty well. Um, when I was a kid and I couldn't sleep, I would just go out with my guitar and, you know, hang out with these guys till late at night playing wow. music. Um, so, yeah, sort of has to do with them. What would you like a listener to take from hearing the song? What do you want them to walk away with? Um, I guess, you know, some, I, I noticed that spending time around those folks gave me a lot of uh, sort of sympathy for their situation. So I think, you know, as much as people can feel that... You know. Rather than judgment, empathy? Yeah. 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 And so you write the songs now. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we've written a lot of music together, and I, I tend to write the words. And now you have a video as well. Yeah, uh, we shot a video with uh, Sari Thayer. She, was, she shot the whole thing, and then we edited it together. Wonderful, and it's something I'm guessing you're very proud of. Yeah, she did a great job. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're going to hear that song right now. What's the name of the song? It's called Land of the Free. Land of the Free. Yeah. All right, well, I don't want to do any more talking. I want to let you perform because you've got to hear this, guys. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Oh. 